So I hear this advice a lot from guys in the manosphere, um, and I don't particularly like it because it promotes the wrong concept. And, and it's such a dumb thing because so many guys say it and they just don't, they just don't think it through. And this phrase is, get your money right before you mess with a girl. Get your money right and then chase the girl. Why? Why? You're playing into hypergamy if you do that. No, actually, you should get the girl before your money isn't right. Get the girl before you have your career. Why? Because that way she won't be a gold digger. Because that way she'll love you for who you really are. But I hear this all the time, even in red pill videos. Even in guys who I really like their content, I really like most of the stuff they say, they'll still encourage guys, oh, don't go out and chase women, chase money. And then once you get the money, then you'll get the women. Even guys who are red-pilled, even guys who really talk a lot of good red pill content, talk a lot of red-pilled truth, they'll still say this phrase. And I think it's because it's just such a subliminal phrase. We're like, oh yeah, I need to focus on money, not women. And then once I get my money right, then I'll focus on women. We're like, no, it's the opposite. Well, first of all, you should probably shouldn't focus on women that much anyways, period. And the MGTOW guys, particularly the MGTOW monks, have walked away from women in, in general, totally, 100%. And they're probably happier for it. They, they, they've goose-stepped a lot of pain. But I don't understand why people in the manosphere, in the red pill community, are still hyping this stupid, outdated concept. It's not that it's outdated in the sense that men shouldn't seek money. It's outdated in the sense that we know better now. We know that women choose men for our money. So why would you play into that? Why would you play into that hypergamy? No, you are not going to get a higher quality woman if you have more money. You might get a more attractive woman, but attraction is not synonymous with quality. Just because she's hot and everybody wants to fuck her and she's only messing with the, the rich guys does not mean she's a quality woman. It just means she's a higher paid prostitute. That's all. Which means she's a higher paid slut. That's it. I do not like that. I do not like this. Go get your money right, then mess with women. No, forget about that. Forget about that. Yes, get your money right. Take care of yourself. That's all fine and good. I appreciate that. I condone that. Do not get your money right just so you can get a woman. And I see guys doing that all the time. Oh, I'm going to go get my money right. Then I'm going to go get the house. Then I'm going to get the lease. Then I'm going to move into my house. Then I'm going to get the nice truck, get the nice car, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Then I'm going to go get the woman. So Scarface said in the movie Scarface, Al Pacino, right? In this country, first you get the money, then you get the woman. That's fucking sick. That's sick. And people are talking about like, oh, yeah, you know. The world's so messed up and this, that, and the third. Well, what are you doing to make it better? Going to make more money so you can get a higher <laughs> quote-unquote quality woman? Wrong. It's not making the world better. You're playing into hypergamy and you're fooling yourself. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop using money to get women. And women need to stop seeking after men with money. Unfortunately, it's in their nature. So there's not much we can do besides breed it out of them. Or teach them better when they're children. Raise them better. But the parents ain't doing that because the, the dad is cucked by the mom in, in most cases. Because of feminism. And their women are holding feminism like it's a mallet to bang it over the head of, of men anytime a man wants to be a man. Anytime he wants to discipline his children. Anytime he wants to instill any morality in his children. Oh, let them be. Let them be a woman if they want. Let them be transgender. Let them be sluts. Let them be... Let them do drugs. Let them do this. Let them do that. Let, you know, let, let their friends raise them. Let public school raise them. Don't do any parenting. Just ship them off out into the wind. That's why all these women are maladjusted. That's why all these women are evil. They're, that's why they're all immoral. That's why they're all sleeping around. That's why they all got STDs. That's why, they all, they're, that's why 43% of 
children born every day, 43% of children born are born to single mothers. That's a horrible, horrifying statistic. And let's not even get into the abortion statistics because that is just downright catastrophic. It's atrocious. It's heinous. Tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions of babies a year. I'm not sure the exact number. I think, it's a, I think it's 25 million a year, if I'm not mistaken. Babies are aborted. Why are they aborted? Because homegirl is sleeping around and she ain't using protection. She ain't using condoms. What does that, what, 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 what else does that mean? It means she's spreading STDs. That's the world we live in. So, shit, what's the answer, dude? Is it to go make more money to, to play into these women's fantasies of, of a rich man coming to sweep them off their feet after they step off the cock carousel, after they get done riding the, the CC? You're going to play right into that? You're going to simp for her after she's done sucking a fucking Chad Tyrone and <laughs> fucking <laughs> whoever, fucking uh, Ahmad or, right? Chad Tyrone, Ahmad, Hussein and fucking Chang. She sucks and fucks all the guys on the rainbow. No matter where he's from, what nationality he is, she's been with them all. And you're going to be there right at the end, at the finish line. When she's done, when she, ding, when she's done, ding, and she's cooked, ding, she hits 30, ding, hits the wall, ding, and there you are. Oh, hey, honey, I don't care about your past. I don't care that you got a baby from another man. I don't care that you got STDs. I'm here to save you. Captain save a ho Who, And guess what you were doing while she was out sucking and fucking? You were out making money. Because you wanted her when she decides to settle. And you went and you planned. I used to think this too. I used to think, man, I got to be ready for when, I, you know, for when it's time to get married, for when it's time to get a woman. I got to be ready. For what purpose? So she can settle down with you so... so she, <laughs> So she's done riding, riding the dick train, riding the cock carousel. She's done fucking the football team. Now she's ready for you. I, used to, I seriously used to think that. Oh, I got to go out and I got to make money so I can be ready. So I can be ready when a woman is ready to settle down. I have my money right. But what you don't know is that when she's ready to settle down... She's choosing you because you got a good career, and that's the only reason you're playing into hypergamy. And you're Captain Sabaho. You're simping times 1,000. Simps and Captain Sabahos. That's all these guys are. Because all these girls are used goods. And this is why guys pump and dump her. Because if she's easy, she's giving it up on the first date, she ain't a quality girl. And that's a fact. I've made that mistake. I've trusted these girls who gave it up on the first date. I've, I've spent too much time with them. I've given them love. And what do they give me in return? Nothing but heartbreak. What do they do to me in return? Cheat on me. Lie to me. Tell me a bunch of bullshit and do the opposite behind my back. That's what these girls do. But they know how to play nice. They know how to be, be all sweet and, and kind and nice when the guy has money. And I, and I thank my stars I didn't have money. I didn't have money for her. But I wanted her. I had, I had love to offer. And she's all like, oh, I know you got a, a, you know, a lot of love to offer me, but I just don't trust the financial situation. It's happened to me a few times with girls that I dated for long term. It was great when the sex was good. It was great when, you know, we had weed and, and my dick was in her mouth. That was great. But when it came to, oh, how, you know, how are we going to support ourselves? How are we going to live? Then she's like, oh, I, I, you know what? I got to hit the exit. 
I got to hit the power button.